Hello! In this video, I will make an overview of Tab Expert, which you can find here. The functionality of these tabs allow you to export products in their variations throughout the store or filtered products. Or only selected products. The structure of the export data completely depends on the active columns and their order. For the convenience of the export, create special columns for files to enable the necessary structures quickly at the right time. So if you want to export of stock data of the product, we can do, uh, select here pre already predefined column stock. Also, we can, we can create our own profiles. So let's load. And as you can see, the structure of the data changed. We can see another active columns. Let's back our prices. In this example, I will demonstrate you exporting all the products. And uh, let's select products we want to export. Go to the export. Here you can select the limiter for CSV data. But attention, if you're going to import data back using native or commerce importer, this one. The limiter should be comma, or import of the data will not be possible. So let's leave comma here and press export. By the way, we can cancel the export. After exporting, download button will appear. Let's click it. So we click on it. Let's open to see the exported data. Here select delimiter. If the delimiter will not be right, we will not see right structure of the data. So select comma here. The same you can do in the Excel of the Microsoft if you're using this. OK. So we can see data. Let's look at it closer. We exported this product as we can see here, but not exported this one. Why? Because this pro product is variable and when the exporting is going for variable products, its variations also will be exported. So now I can suggest you, for example, change regular and sale prices here and import the data back. So let's set the price here. So I changed the prices and now I decided to import data back in the shop. So we have the file name as Wubi exported one. Let's close it. Click import from CSV. Select file. One thing, update existing products. As we're going to import data for the existing product, we should check this checkbox. Continue. The commerce import system will try to set columns on the right place. So now it did it because of the names. But sometimes uh, it cannot be selected as, for example, these two columns are sell time from. So let's select it here. Date sale price starts. In date sale price, yes. Okay. All another field selected rightly. Run the import.
Ok, products been exported. Let's check it. Simply let's update this page. As you can see, it's done. By the way, let's open variations to see the price being changed there. And you can see, yes, it's been done. Let's check it. Look, started from 100 to 127. 100 is we set for this uh, for the parent for the parent product and uh, it not, will not be displayed in the end for 127. The same is for sale prices. Export works for any columns and also it works for metadata and taxonomy. So let's select some columns. Downloads, download files, download bill, download limit, expiry, categories, and uh, attributes. And for example, cross cells and uh, some meta fields. Save. All this data will be exported. Let's select something here. Okay. We we have some download files. Maximum is two. Here we can see the data is also presented. Cross cells we have something here, and we have color and categories data. So let's export it. Of course, remember you can export as all the data on the side. We can do filtering. But for this example, I want to export only selected products. So let's leave comma here. If you want to use in the future import from SV uh, native WooCommerce importer, press export to CSV. By the way, we can cancel it if we decided to not do this. Cancel button is good when we make exporting a lot of products and we decided that we not selected right columns or not selected right order of the columns so we can cancel do our change and export again download let's open it okay and as you can see it's been exported here we can see metadata here metadata. this metadata and uh, we can see cross cells by the way export for cross cells using the product slugs and here we can see downloads by the way, you can see max, maximum value here as 5. Why that? Because it's selected here. Maximum possible count of downloads per product. And there is no possible to define uh, what is the maximum download in the product. Really, yes, it's possible. But data uh, in the product is serialized. And if we have in the shop 10 or 20 pr uh, products uh, using loop, it's possible to define the data. But if we have um, 100, 200 or more products, uh, defining of the data will take a lot of more, more time. So better 
set here any number and by default it's 5 and use this field and uh, we can see pairing here so, uh, by the way if we make exporting, exporting of the product and there will be presented variable products parent always will be added so data is exported we can change it we can make any changes here and then import back the data Let's do a little experiment. Let's X import data to the clean side. I created tester for the exporting. Okay. If you're going to export data to the clean side, do not forget to enable school. Do not forget forget to enable gallery and save all settings. So my thing we have ID, title, school should be because the same cross cells will not be exported if existed and gallery select always because another way the mail will not be exported. Let's select it export to CSV. Okay, download will be exported free. Go to the clean side, import products from CSV file, select file, Wube number three, open. Update existing products. No, do not check it because there is no products. Continue. Here, let's select right fields. As you can see, products being exported with their prices, in their stock status, and with their SKU. Let's look for example this one. As you can see, gallery exported, prices. Sale price days. Uh, ah, we not uh, exported description. Yes, we should select it, but we not did it. Anyway, it's simple. Title. SQ. Product categories. Product categories. So as you can see, import. For the to the new site work working well so you can always use native WooCommerce importer so I think this is all if you need to read any documentation you can see here if new information will be uh, added you can will be able to see this here in the future I'm going to implement import to the Excel mm and uh, new extension will be possible to download from the site. Now it's possible only to export to the CSV, but the, in the future this, this situation will be changed. So this is all. See you. Bye.